How's it going guys? It's Andrew from HTC One Softwater and today I'm going to be showing you how to get LG's knock-on feature onto your HTC One with the Bulletproof kernel. Now this kernel will work on any Google Edition or Sense-based ROM. Most of you guys will probably be already running that, especially if you just updated your phone to KitKat. Now you're going to want to make sure that your HTC One is rooted and has an unlocked bootloader with, along with the custom recovery. So once you have all that, Go ahead and click on the link that is in our full description to go to the Bulletproof XD8 page. Okay, now once you have that page opened up, scroll down. And since I am running the official OTA for um, Sense 5.5 and KitKat, I'm just going to download the first kernel option right there. Alright, now once that finishes downloading, you're all set from this side of the phone. So all you have to do is reboot into recovery. Now if you don't have an advanced power menu, you could always just go ahead and press the power and volume down button until you're in bootloader mode. Alright, now once you're in bootloader mode, select recovery by pressing the volume down button and then confirm it by pressing the power button. Alright, now once you're in recovery, click on install and then select the bulletproof kernel that you downloaded. So click on that zip, then swipe and confirm the flash. Okay, after you swipe to flash, you'll be able to go to the Roman installer in order to install bulletproof. You just click on next, agree to the terms, click on next one more time. And then now you can select your options. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and enable sweep to wake, which allows you just to swipe along the bottom in order to wake and put your device to sleep. I'm also going to install double tap to wake, which is the same exact thing as LG's knock on. I'm going to enable logo to wake, which pretty much turns the HTC logo into another unlock option by pressing and holding it. And then I'm also going to enable pocket detection, which stops any of these from being active once your phone is closed into your pocket. Click next one more time. You'll be able to um, select the vibration if you want there to be a vibrate when you unlock your device by using any of the other options. And then I could all, you could also enable logo to menu, which turns your HTC logo at the bottom into a menu button for your phone. Back button light notifications pretty much allow your home and back button to blink once you get a notification on your phone. And USB fast charge allows your phone to pull more power from the USB cord um, once you use that to charge it. Like So if your phone is plugged into your computer, it wouldn't be charging the USB power, it'll be using AC power, which allows your phone to charge faster. After that, click next one more time, and then install Bulletproof. Alright, now once you've finished installing, click on next one more time, then finish, and after that you'll be able to reboot your phone. Okay, now once you reboot it, you'll be able to see all the options selected take effect. So for the unlock and lock options, just go ahead and swipe across. Um, it'll lock it, swipe the other way. It'll unlock it. Also, if you do the double tap, just go ahead and tap twice, and your device will unlock. Also, if you enable the menu, the logo to menu, you'll be able to use the HTC logo as your menu. Just go ahead and tap that, and then now you'll see the menu pop up whenever you tap that. Also, for the menu, you can also do the tap and hold to unlock your device as well. I hope this helped you guys, and be sure to check out the full tutorial on HTC One Soft Monitor, and like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.